Thank you very much. This is amazing. You're truly great players. Um, I'm, I almost don't know what to say. You know, it's so good. Already, um, I'm going to start with a, a trick question. So please um, be fooled or whatever. <laughs> um, uh, where, so where is the melody? Right. There is no good answer to that, right? So Beethoven, he... he you know, in fact, he, he, in this entire quartet, he doesn't write, well, maybe in the second movement, he, write, he writes a melody, but that's kind of simple. Um, otherwise, there are almost no melodies, uh, almost just motives. Um, so uh, to me, this is music that, you know, it, it speaks more than it sings. Um, and I, you know, it's very hard for us musicians because we, we're, we're so trained in, you know, singing and this kind of bel canto tradition. Uh, and when we meet music like this, then we suddenly have to, we have to give it something else. Uh, we have to give these small motives some meaning, you know. Um, and I just want to do a couple of, you know, your playing is so good. It's, you know. It's amazing you could go right up on the concert stage and, and perform it. But I just want to do some couple of experiments with you guys and, and see where that takes us. Um, uh, just please do uh, two, two first motives. <laughs> This is basically the same thing, but it's not, right? So, dee up a bum, dee up a bum. To me, that's something else. That means something else. It's, it's probably a lot of the same words, but uh, one is outspoken. Uh, maybe some, uh, one of them has a, what do you call that? Uh, a dot at the end, or, and, and, and Maybe some, uh, some of it has a question mark. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But, but to me, it sounds the same. The way you play it sounds the same. Can you do experiment once and do the first, first one down bow, second one up bow? OK, right. And can, we g can you give the one note that is different? some extra meaning. Okay. 
So to me, it's like the first one is saying, um, all right, I got this. I'm going to write this string quartet. You know? The second one is kind of more doubtful in a way, I feel. Or is this really a, is this really a good motive? <laughs> and, 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 you know, and, and the third one is kind of going, well, actually, I might also go, I can go, and then, and then he goes back to forte and, no, no, I'm going to stay with this. I'm going to stay with this, you know? Can you try? And decisive. just here the music starts this is the beginning of the movement and all that was before was an introduction okay good you want to <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so it's a classic one two combination here yeah. he's doing the first punch i'm directly following with the next one <laughs> Uh, well, uh, thank you so much. Um, I, uh, it's incredible what you're able to do. I, I, I want to add a few things. Um, I, I actually agree completely what has been said. Um, I think to me personally what, what one tends to do with things, with, with pieces like this, is also you, you go as deep as you can in the little details. But in doing that, you sometimes lose a little bit of the overview of the movement or of a phrase or of a uh, uh, motif or something like that, right? So uh, I think this, this way of doing, thinking of how uh, the difference of those two is, extremely, is an extremely good idea. And you could even go, when you continue, then there's the second one, da, 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 da. and then there's one more da, 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 da. that goes on, da, 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 da. right? I think they need to be more different, saying different things. You need to have a very clear idea of what you're actually, uh, or maybe not what you're wanting to say, but you need to explore always the, the depths of the statements. Right? Can we just, uh, and then I want to add one other general thing is that you're playing on a really high level, but to me, you, I, I hear a lot of sultesto sound. Sultesto is when you move towards the fingerboard on the, in, on the instruments. And it sounds, let's just do an experiment to show how it sounds. So if you could just help me out, play a little bit sultesto, some whatever, just a long note. Go really sultesto. Yeah, so it sounds very airy, and then move towards the bridge. Much more steely, direct, uh, 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 diamondy something. Um, and this sound I, I lack a little bit, especially in, in accompanying figures. So if you go from A, for example, I hear a quite a soft boom, 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 boom. And I understand it's probably you not wanting to get in the way, but in fact, it, all it does is that it muddies up a little bit, especially when you move away. Here it sounds nice because you're not covering melody, but when you move away, you, you lose the clarity of it. When you, when you do accompanying stuff, it's much better to think of it as supporting roles, not just getting out of the way, right? So you're supporting, you're carrying. And in this case, you want to make a sound that's clear, but not covering, right? and also is, is carrying the melody. And you're actually not doing that by making a very, very soft sound. Um, but those are two different things. Maybe we can go from, we can actually do both in one go. So if you go from, 
let's go from the four to bar nine. Can we just hear the two of you going bop, 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 bop. So let's, let's just go really extreme, just because I've played a lot of music, I don't hear this well any longer. <laughs> More hairs of the bow, move closer to the bridge. Go too extreme, please. Yes? And now, just for now, lose the vibrato, but really feel the left hand on the fingerboard. And not louder, that's not what I'm asking for. I'm just asking for clarity of the sound. No vibrato. Bridge, bridge, bridge. And then you find that, you kind of find, it's, it's, so it's a matter of balance, right? If you move too far, you go, contemporary music style, uh, so you don't want to do that. But you, So you have to find a balance where it really rings out. So I, I think something that I often think about when I play stuff like this, and this is some of the most fun stuff to play, I love playing stuff like that. Uh, if you look for the sound in between the notes, instead of looking for the notes themselves, bum, 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 the after sound. Can we just go slow once? Bum, 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 bum. So no, like instead of going gong, dong, dong, bum, 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 let the instrument ring. Yes. And really feel the left hand, fortissimo left hand. Yes. A little faster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great, great. So that creates a sound that's really clear, but is transparent at the same time. And is much more supporting character than, than just going through Tasto. And then the more you look into it, it's da, 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 it's just everywhere. It's plastered on the first page, right? And each of them, they simply just need to be different, I think. Can, let, can we go from the same place and I think you could even, for now, take out time, the, like the time equation of it. I hear a little bit from when you have the piano. I hear a very strong sense of time, which is, which is great, but maybe it's overtaking a little bit. <laughs> Great. And then again, something new happens. And then what? And what? <coughs> what? And here we go. Beautiful, much better. So I think this is the, I, if I were you, I would enjoy exploring it even more. So now you're kind of starting the exploration, but just go even deeper. And every time you play it, you, you come up with something, maybe not new, but deeper, richer something, right? So there's a, another, another good example of maybe how to change the sound. This is bar 32-ish one. Da 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 da
There's so many different colors in that. Can I just maybe ask you to play a third position here? Yeah, so you get a nice round second finger there, and then you can go back in, in, in first. If. Um, 28, please. Just talk to me about the last note, the, or the note directly on A. Tell me about that note. What is your relationship with that note? <laughs> <laughs> yes, your personal relationship uh, with that note. I mean, it's common. Yeah? You know, it's um, three times play the leading note. Yeah? Kind of a sure, okay, but that's, that's a very technical relationship. I want your emotional relationship with that note. <laughs> Why do you like it? Why do you hate it? Um, no, it feels brilliant, maybe, in a way. Yeah? And, uh, exciting. Yeah? Yeah, definitely, definitely. But it also is a, it, it, like you said, it's a release, right? Mm -hmm. Yum, bum, bum, wom, wom. Maybe it's a little bit different in that it's not hard as the three notes leading into it. <coughs> Just think about it. You can do whatever you want, but something. Um, 21, please. Change, 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 change. You carry, you carry the sound. Oh, yes! And then change again, change again. Round, round. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I think the sound you make at B could be even better if it's not also loud. Can we just do, um, the, without first violin, please, uh, four bars before B, and it comes from the, I think it comes from the cello, really beautiful round sound, but not like this, a little bit more like mm. Let, Let's try it, let's try it once, because the, the easy way would be to say slower vibrato or something. Let's take the vibrato off and see if we can make the change without the vibrato. Okay. I, I know you can do better. If you, so when we take off the vibrato, the only things that we have to work with is still left hand, but like the, the weight of the left hand and the bow, obviously, right? So create more of that deep, rich sound with both, without it getting louder. Yes, beautiful. I still think you can move the bow a little bit. Whenever, I think we should always try to, try to avoid uh, like a static uh, stuff, right? Um, so do feels a little bit static to me. Just having the feeling of it's like a it's like a massage or something of the <laughs> instrument. A little bit. Once more, please. Beautiful, beautiful, and then just without the being loud. And now we put on vib the vibrato, and I would maybe suggest a really nice, beautiful, slow, broad vibrato right here. So I mean, this is getting really detailed, but it's because you're so good. But I think even those three notes, can you play those three notes for me uh, on B, directly on B? 
Just the cello, just cello. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, but they sound pretty much alike. They're equally beautiful. <laughs> but <coughs> each May one, I yeah, sure. Them? Yeah. I think what we're looking for here is something that, um, and, and I want to say this because this is something that is important in quarter playing uh, as a cellist, uh, not only here, but, but over and over again. And that is to create this kind of sound that, that uh, sort of lifts the ensemble. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I want to I kind of um, uh, give you the idea of um, it's, it's, it's very different if you go like this or if you go, um, you know, something that is almost looking upwards and lifting a sound that will carry the rest of them, you know, like, a, like some summer breeze or something, you know. Um, and it's, it's not loud, uh, it's just very, it has a very warm energy that goes like this, you know. Can you try that? Sure. Uh, everyone. That was very good. Can yeah. you go, can you do the same thing, spinning all your bow, so a little bit faster bow, and yet uh, softer. Mm -hmm. This was. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. But then you guys need to react. So can we, uh, once more, just without the first violin, please. The, j directly on uh, was a B. Oh yes. Yeah, directly and with each note change, you move a little bit as well in some direction. So there's a little bit of, it gets more intense by the bar, I think, something, right? But it's so nice if it comes from you and then you guys, you can just react, right? Instead of everybody has to do something new. And it's, okay, sorry, that was just it. Let's, let's do the, 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 uh, the, the, the other place, just before, 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 I think, and moving on. <laughs> Guys, can you play this really slowly for me once? Um, this place. Uh, I want you to sort of. Um, there's so much information going on in between the notes and harmonies and stuff, and you. I want you to to sort of feel all of that, and if it goes really slow, so we have time to. Yeah, 
Yes, uh, and uh, That's just next exercise, but it's really important that we kind of feel this sticky bow and like in between yeah. harmonies and, and stuff here. Want to do it in tempo once? Yeah, can we do it once more and just experiment on where you are on your on your strings? It sounds a little bit sultasto for, for me, um, and it's easy going sultasto when it's soft, but you just get a soft sound that's also kind of uh, imprecise in the in the sound itself, right? And just one tiny fingering that I'd like to suggest, instead of changing there, just one eighth note later. So you don't get the dum da dum ba da. Yeah. Sorry, uh, in tempo, please. But with that same kind of feeling. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> phone uh, boxes and they look you know from each corner they look the same so it's like you, you try to find a door it's not <laughs> <laughs> and then there it, it is you know can you do that But in doing that, I think that's great. But you could then also explore the emotion of it. Is it only, uh, is it frustrated? It can't find its way out? Is it kind of charming in the beginning, then going into something different? I think it, it has many different layers, that little line. Maybe you can go, following the crescendo that comes in the middle of it, you can go little more towards the frustrating part of it but in the beginning it feels a little to me it feels and then it's getting wilder or something um, the, the other part we don't have to do it again it was beautiful like this like with the clarity of the sound it, it makes a huge difference even if you move in the back of this hall it's gonna sound much more Hopefully, I hope you agree down there <laughs> that it sounds much more clear and, and direct without it being louder, right? It's beautiful. Uh, maybe just directly D is fine. <laughs> This this place is T da 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 da. Where is that, by the way? Uh, yeah, right. So we have a forte piano. I think you should uh, technically, uh, you know, ha have you seen those uh, leaves that that fall in in cartoons and they go like <laughs> <laughs> and smaller and smaller and then they land. And uh, this is kind of that, but the opposite because it's going up. But but T da 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 da. So for the piano, yes, but keep keep enough sound that you can sort of do a diminuendo. Also because it's going up, so it will sound louder and louder as you go up. So think diminuendo. 
uh, right there. Very good. I, I, I really like your color. Uh, but then I need something else for the fortissimo. Uh, uh, what notes are? Yeah. They need to be harsh, like really um, mad. Yeah? <laughs> I think we are almost out of time, but just for this next section, try to go, uh, try to keep the sound. I know it's very hard. Uh, instead of, uh, mm -hmm. can you just try that once, everyone?
magnificent. Um, I, I want to I want to start with something. Um, it, you, you sound you sound great. You sound fantastic. In fact, uh, you sound better than you looked when you came up on stage. <laughs> you know. Uh, so so you you deserve to look better. You know. <laughs> no, I mean you're you're all all very beautiful. It's not that I mean. You you understand what I mean. Um, I, I, I want to do something that, that you know, I, I want to give you a gift that we are rarely given uh, as musicians. I'm going to give you a second chance. Um, so I, I, I want you to get off the stage. Just go over there. And, <clears throat> huh? and I want you to, <laughs> we, we, let's, let's do this all over. We haven't heard anything. Uh, and uh, and I, wanna, I want you, I mean, this is important because um, uh, an old guy in Norway that I know, he, he always said, and I think he's right, the first thing uh, the audience will hear is what they see. Um, so, I mean, this is kind of silly, but, but still remember that this is a part of your performance. Uh, and I, I, trust me, I know how it is to play in a master class because it feels like, like you're going in and, and, and uh, getting sentenced, you, you know? And, and, <laughs> and, and it's, but, but don't worry, we're, we're not like that. So, so just take it easy and, uh, and, and now just remember this is a very important part of your performance. So, <laughs> big hands. Thank you. So, great. So, um, <laughs> applause. It's obvious. It sounds better. <laughs> it even sounds better. So, 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 it's it's such an important thing, uh, and 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 uh, I know I know it's very hard, but but even even when you don't feel like it, uh, you have to remember that performance part uh, because it will it it will just it will open things up and and you'll be uh, you'll have less tension in your body and and you're probably going to sound better as well as you just did so all right yeah enough from me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's actually funny like how you did this because um, before we started this this uh, cycle that we're in the middle of uh, I was like a nervous wreck and I'm <laughs> doubting everything and like you do when you're about to go on stage and I, uh, I called home and like oh I can't do this and stuff and my, uh, my fiance who was also a musician she actually told me that <laughs> she told me just five, 15 minutes before you go on stage sit on your chair and do a power pose <laughs> and it was like nothing she ever told me before I don't know but but it's, it's, it actually does something. There's a difference between going on like this and being, oh, okay, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Or just like, this is us. Like, let's do what we do. Sit down. We, we've practiced 10,000 hours doing this. We know what to do. We're going to be fine. And, and just being courageous and, and um, believing in yourself. It really, and, the, and the, the great thing is the more you do it, the easier it is to do as well. That's what I found. The, the more times you tell yourself you're going to be fine, relax, lean back, enjoy the ride, then next time is a little bit easier. Not that it's ever going to be easy, but, but a little bit easier. 
Okay, so if we uh, talk a little bit about the music, <laughs> then um, I think, um, okay, I th there's one thing that I'd like to just talk about first. Uh, the fact that the way we listen to music today and we, w the way we uh, get inspired, the way we find new music that we want to play is that we put on a recording, we go on Spotify, we listen to stuff, right? Uh, and that's all great, but the problem with that is that we're only presented with stuff that's edited and that's perfect, and there are no mistakes. Um, so, so much of our focus as musicians today is, is about this stuff, about being perfect. And there is no perfect. Uh, uh, the, the, you, we all know it, even though we play something that maybe not, we, we didn't do any mistakes or anything, it's still something that, there's still gonna be stuff you're gonna improve on next time, right? It's just different stuff. So let's just discard this perfect idea right away. But, but more importantly, um, the way that like, you measure the success rate of a concert isn't about how many right notes you play. Uh, if you're well prepared, like you guys are, to a really high degree, then we as an audience, we don't care one bit if stuff messes up. Because we, we, we hear and we understand that you've prepared, and then it's fine. If we hear that it's not really prepared, it's insecure, then it's different, right? Then we, then we wish you'd maybe spend a few more hours, but that's not the case with you guys. So uh, let's move away from that. And, um, and I'd like you guys to just tell me briefly why you absolutely love this piece. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if there's stuff you don't like, that's fine too. <laughs> just tell me what you think about this piece. <coughs> but it has to be stuff that's emotional, not like he uses 16th notes in a really clever way. <laughs> it has to be <laughs> something that... Oops. <laughs> Personally, I, I find this, the piece as a whole is great, but this movement in particular um, is really exciting and I feel like it has a really unique um, flow to it and excitement that, uh, and I love how Mendelssohn's writing makes it so that we have to uh, exchange so much all the time, which I find is not always the case in other repertoire. Mm -hmm. and, um, I've always liked the kind of sparkling elegance that there is to it, and yeah. it's Beautiful. detailed, but still has a lot of clarity. Right. So I think the key word in that is excitement, right? That's, that's something that's in all of Mendelssohn, uh, Mendelssohn's music. Very, very important, definitely. Anything else you guys want to add? I think also contrast is a very important thing in this movement, because it switches from one theme to the other, and they turn out to be completely different, and the way he does it, and the way he mixes it lately in the development, I think it's something that, yeah, it's really exciting. Beautiful. So the lyrical passages compared to the dramatic and, and fast passages, yeah, definitely. Um, great. So let's keep that in mind whenever we play, what, whenever you, even if you play practice intonation or uh, uh, tempo, everything, keep that in mind, please. It's so important because otherwise you're just gonna spend time practicing something you're not uh, using or using in the right way. Um, I think there's one huge challenge with Mendelssohn that we've also encountered a lot is how do we make the sound of Mendelssohn different than the sound of Brahms, for example. Quite often we tend to go Brahmsy in the sound when we play Mendelssohn. And, and, and it's because it's both late romantic, huge, rich, but they're so different. I think uh, you have to find your own way, but to me Brahms is a little bit more, it, 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 this is hugely generalizing obviously, but tends to be a little bit more serious, very like rich, but also broad. But Mendelssohn is exciting, right? It's romantic, but it's, it's, it's never like, it's also curious. It, it's never settled and it's never presented like, here it is, it's always like you can't really get a grasp on it. I think that's, the, that's a little bit, bit of the feeling. Um, 
let's let let's go from the beginning now and see if we can move away from the big fat Brahmsy sound and uh, explore something that's maybe not as real <laughs> as Brahms is. Um, let, let's try from the beginning one, please. Okay, great, great. So uh, before you even begin, just uh, before you begin, right? You have a, there's this sense of something in the room, right? Nobody, like maybe, probably all of you have heard this a gazillion times before because you're all connoisseurs, but uh, imagine that nobody knows how it's gonna sound, right? Nobody knows the opening statement. So there's a sense in the room of expectation and what are we gonna listen to now? And you have to kind of gather that and then it says forte, right? It does, I think, yeah. But like dynamics are only, what's the character of the forte? It's not just loud, right? Can we try once? And then we, it's actually the same as we had before in the Beethoven of Opus 18 number one. Right? Let's, let's, let's get, again, let's take the time out of the equation. Obviously we need to have a pulse, but tell the story is much more important. Let's, let's try once more. And before you start, wait. Yeah, feel everybody in the room. Can, can I just, su su I'm so sorry, but I just suggest one thing. The way you start is, to me, is a little bit like, here, here you go. This is it. Uh, I'm, I've done a complete meal for you, and you're not going to have anything else. <laughs> Instead of... Just giving a little scent of what you created or something. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. Can I chip in? Um can, can you try just to do uh, without the upbeat once? Just go directly on the E flat, and 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 you guys follow. Yeah. So what I'm after, so what I'm after is the effect of uh, uh, this is the initiative, and then you're sort of the tail of it. So. So ti da 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 da, ti da 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 da, and I'm not I'm not really hearing that. I I think you need to do bigger sforzando. I don't know if it's if you can do that on G string or whatever. I I don't know if that's a proper violin technique, but um, <laughs> but uh, you know to like ti da 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 da. Yeah, with up it, please. Okay, so I'm hearing a little bit di da 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 da, and then you break the the line again. So di da 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 da, like it was one slur. <coughs> Okay, and 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 um, so we have the two times, and then a new idea. So so take your time. I mean, not a huge amount of time, but but just uh, make sure that you just place it. So do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
and then uh, lastly, uh, do the upbeat to bar seven, param 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 param, and stop once. Yeah, once more. Okay, and make sure you have the same uh, bow speed, uh, bow length, everything on the yum pa Can you make it uh, sound like uh, after after this you don't know where you go? So the yum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum. Yes, and now do that and continue. Yes, and the two last notes are, you know, just by looking at the score, they seem quite equal to me. Yum, bum. So now it sounds yum, round, you know, which is, in my opinion, not, not very musical. So. Uh, yeah, pop, 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 pom, pom. Too equal. Okay, and and just uh, after you, uh, I don't think it's piano, right? It's still for the pop, 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 pom, pom. I mean, you don't have to play like crazy for it, but just make sure you have enough sound to, to make it rich. Okay, with all of this in mind, <laughs> I know it's very hard, uh, but from beginning, please. Another uh, exercise, uh, play uh, from, from beginning and just play two bars and then play from after fermata and play two bars. And make them sound different. Mm -hmm. After fermata and that should sound really different. Right. Can be, be, I, I mean, I, I got it, but I, I had to carefully listen for it. Can you really convince us with the sound? Do, do the same exercise again. Mm -hmm. that's, that's different. So, I mean, that, that's the kind of work you need to do with this, right? Can okay, I, let's... Can I jump in quickly? Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, so this is one of those places where I would encourage you to explore a sound that's not going towards the Brahmsy sound. To me, that's... that's it, it could be so many different things. If you think about the, the characters of those two statements, Smiling, maybe going uncertain, nervous, uh, flighty, something <coughs> instead of just rich, dark, uh, broad vibrato. Let's do the same experiment once. Smile and then something different. The second one, once more. More air, faster bow. Second one. Yes, 
I love this even more. <laughs> yes, and without it, you guys controlling it, you've done it millions of times. Just play it. Don't be like, doo, da, da, doo, da. this has changed. Uh, move. Yes, but then the real challenge, challenge is that it comes twice, right? So you need to do even a bigger difference is the, the, the third time or the fourth time or whatever it is. Try, I'm so sorry, once more from the beginning and use this, the, the bow speed in the beginning as well. It sounded so beautiful what you just did. Just one, one small, uh, this, I love this. I think you're doing so, so well. Just one general thing that I would maybe also encourage is to think a little bit of how you like uh, feel time in it. So with this little motive, da -da 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 -dum, there's a little danger if we always hear three beats of it, then it becomes a very beat heavy movement. Instead of having a little bit more like that, and that goes hand in hand with using more bow speed as well. Um, please, from upbeat to 15. So, also, only viola cello right there. So that sounds a little ba 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 wam ba ba bum ba ba. Yes, and then just once more a feeling of releasing a little bit more yum ba dum yum da, and then there's a line obviously from seventeen yum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. And again, we're becoming so detailed, but it's because we're nerds and we're quartet nerds, so you want to just go head first into it. But but with this kind of bowing you're doing in dun, 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 from, from bar uh, 7 and 17, just watch out that it doesn't become para, 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 that the 16th notes are always louder than the rest. Remember the line, okay? So upbeat to 15, please, everybody. Okay, let's come on. So another stupid experiment. <laughs> um, let's play from let's play from the same place, and every one of you, just for now, lean back in your seats, like do bad posture. Lean back. Yes, wonderful. Relax the soldiers. Uh, soldiers. <laughs> Shul shoulders. Um, and just like. Let's just let's just do that actually. So same place, please. Up to fifteen. Uh.
beautiful. Yes, great. I love it. And so what it does is that it sounds much more natural now, I think. Uh, um, and it tells us a couple of things. First of all, it tells us that you don't need the, the control and, and the, 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 the awareness that you were giving each other at the moment. You don't need the visual control. And you lean back and you just enjoy the ride because you've done it so many times, you've practiced everything. So you don't need to maintain stuff any longer. It's all there. Now what we focus on are the characters. And you do that by just leaning back, relaxing the mind. And I think another thing that's, so I, I don't know about Jello, but, but for you guys and for you, when you lean <coughs> back, the, the instrument comes much more naturally up and has a nice position, but it also becomes horizontal this way. So you, if you want to play loud, you can play downwards with gravity instead of going like this, where you have to push in, which creates a, a, a more narrow sound because you have to use force the, the wrong way. Uh, physics, right? We love, love physics. Um, <laughs> okay, tell me about the character in 19. Very intimate. Yeah. Huh? More subtle. S more, excuse subtle. me? Subtle. Definitely more subtle. But, but flowing. But flowing. Definitely always flowing with Middleton. Uh, can, we get a, can we get a specific picture? Do we have a, something in mind? A situation, a scene? Play it, play, just play it once directly, up to 19. played really well, but, but just to make it even stronger, what do you think about when you played this specific melody, this passage? Being precise, being <laughs> intonation, <laughs> no, that's not <coughs> it. <coughs> yes? I think of two people who are um, maybe lovers and each other softly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, definitely, I love that. Anything else? comes to mind. This is, by the way, this is all what it, what's it, it's about, right? So <laughs> you should be, you should have millions of ideas what this could be. Yeah, but it's all, I know, under pressure and all this stuff, then it's, then it's difficult. But we need to have, we need to convey a story. Two lovers is wonderful. I think there's also a sense of, of comfort, right? So maybe an embrace or something. And then there's a little bit of the, the, the development. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a sense of like something going on, charming, enticing, something. Let's do it once more and we go on. Backing off.
Wump, wump, wump. I'm so sorry, but we're out of time. But you're a great place, wonderful. Thank you.
thank you very much. Wonderful playing. It's it's a very hard piece you have chosen to play. Um, um, I wanna. I, I was just thinking about. Uh, someone told me once, and and uh, it's it's so true um, um, that every every quartet by Beethoven, except for the uh, E E minor, uh, Rasmowski, um, uh, ends in major. Every quartet, except for that one, um, and also this one, being so dark and and like uh, like so so uh, furious and everything, and then it just yum bum bum. It's like victory in the end. Um, it's just just a thought. It's 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 very strange. Um, just uh, those last chords. Can we try once to, to just, can, actually, can you do them? Just the three last chords. <laughs> All right. Can we get some more, um, can we get some more body to the sound? The, the, um, I mean, loud is good, but we want the right kind of, of loud. So can you get a rich loud? <laughs> yes, better. Can you get some more, uh, even more like um, marrow to the, to the sound? <laughs> yes. And now with that in mind, can we go from the opening? So uh, I, I can I can hear your effort. It's it's good, but but I, I still feel that we somehow that you don't you you're not really in the string in this opening, and I I'm just it's so you know it's it's an amazing chord. For for those of you who don't know, it's it's by this point it has been going on for ages. <laughs> You know, and in all in one long stretch, and I mean, you can you can you can uh, fall asleep like five times uh, b before and wake up before we get here. It's it's like a, a really really amazing journey, and then by the time we get here, we have this beautiful uh, slow movement and and uh, uh, you know crying and it's so sad, and then all of a sudden you have this whoa. And, and really, I mean, we, we played it uh, plenty of times now, and, 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 and it's just such an incredible effect. At uh, this place, all, everyone in the audience, wow, you know? Um, it's very hard, I know. But what I'm, hearing, what I'm hearing at the moment is a little bit like this. Um, I like the speed, the energy, I like everything, except I need more actual tone. Because that, would, that will also help you to articulate. Which are very dramatic intervals, by the way. So, so you need really to speak those out. Okay, actually, can we play slowly? With full force, but yum. Da da dum, da da dum. Okay, good. So that's that's the sound I'm looking for. But I mean, it's it's like you have to you have to picture a you know big fat man, you know, like just <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, that's the weight you're going to need. Almost no effort, just and still bang, you know, 
Mm -hmm. Like it should be. Okay. That was terrific. Very good. Keep that. Okay. Now for the. Um, can we hear the every everyone but the melody? Mm -hmm. Okay. So very good. Um, I need a little more articulation. I need to hear kind of the little on each. Uh, um, and I mean, it says forte, but again, the right kind of forte. So, so um, maybe also here, just a tiny bit more. Like Fred was talking about uh, earlier, uh, you need to look for the sound in between the notes. Uh, hear that? That one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one one last thing. So when you play this, I I always you know I I don't I don't recall the story exactly, but there is something about Beethoven as the, at this point, he has a, um, uh, uh, what's it called, God's godson, no, uh, nephew. nephew, nephew, yeah, um, that, you know, he takes care of, sorry, if, if those words we never learned at school, um, <laughs> and, uh, or I wasn't there, um, <laughs> and, and uh, um, by the time he wrote this quartet, uh, this uh, nephew uh, uh, got into the military, which was a great thing because that, m that meant he, he had uh, actual pay and food and uh, you know, he wasn't poor anymore. So, so, and Beethoven was the man who actually got him into the military. So I always pictured this, you know, a little militaristic, if you, if you like. So. So, so can you can you also while playing this just you know like 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 this rather than going like down up mm -hmm. proud. And now, last thing I promise. So, even more up, and then go like 20% closer to the bridge because we need the, this kind of sound rather than. Good, and, and just be very, like in the military, be, be very mathematical about this. I mean, also phrase and stuff like that, but, but you got plenty of that. So just for now, just be very like strict. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do everyone beginning.
so, so uh, a couple of things. Um, um, This theme needs to be a much bigger contrast, much bigger. I always picture it's a, it's a kind of a inversion of the opening. Uh, this. Sorry. It has some connection. So, can you can you make that change even more dramatic, please? Whispering almost. Uh, yes, uh, wherever you like. Uh. Actually, can I jump in for yes. just one second? Um, um, so I think this is completely uh, the right direction. But then when we put you on top, then there's this is not only dum dum dum. It's not only rhythm any longer, right? It's also the melody. So uh, if it me personally, I change the bowing, but but you can do that. But just make sure that you are a little bit more melodic in, not not less rhythmical, but a little bit more melodic. So if follow the line a little bit, um, ba dum ba dum ba dum bum da dum 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 da dum. Right, just follow the line up and down. But I think we need that element of comp and melody, even though it's not a very cantabile uh, melody, right? Maybe just go from somewhere in, or directly there again and go on. Very much. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to take over if you no, want. No, no, sure. But um, but but there's just one general thing that I thought about also when you play through and again now, and I think we just need to talk briefly about tempo and how we use tempo. So I don't, I'm not looking for the right tempo. You can do whatever you want, but when we start using tempo to feel comfortable, then I think we're maybe moving a little bit away from what's uh, good for the music, right? So. What you did now, just now, and before, was that you play a little bit, you just take the tempo back in 17, 18 something, right? Dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Maybe in order for you to, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I completely understand the intention. But, and then later on when you get to, um, this uh, at 56, you really like drop way down in tempo. And you can do whatever you want, but just make sure that you're doing it from a, like from the musical standpoint and not because it feels a little bit more comfortable. I know there, this is so uncomfortable, all this stuff, but there is something about sticking somewhat to a tempo that can create some tension that's good for the music. So I think if you look at this spot earlier on, um, uh, this f f f 17, yum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I don't think it's just kind of broad, very cantabile. It is within a set pulse, and that makes it a little bit different, I think. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can we tr try that air just that little somewhere um, from uh, upbeat to 10 maybe? Yum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <coughs> Ah. 
param, 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 param. Charira. Not giving it away, just. Bam. And then it says in tempo. And yeah, so there's this feeling of if you keep it in somewhat, I, you do, you need to go down. And this is highly confusing place because it says ritardando, diminuendo, crescendo, a tempo, espressivo. Everything is like just <laughs> pour on stuff, and it's really highly confusing. But if you keep a certain tempo, then there's this underlying feeling of doom or something that's going to happen later, right? And not just letting go completely, then I think you lose some of that stuff. And especially 72, it even says in tempo, but then no crescendo. This is a really powerful place. If you keep a tempo, and then you go back. Try this, just this. But but you can do whatever you want. Just keep in mind that it needs to be uh, for the music that you're doing stuff, not for technical issues. Directly there, 72. Luciano. <laughs> I think this needs to be way more extreme. This is the most tricky <coughs> place in the, all of this quartet. And it shouldn't sound like hairpins going up and down. It should si sound like the wind moving in and out of a window or something. And the drop down to the pianissimo needs to be like a slap in the face. It's, it's so dramatic, it's so scary. It cannot be just a little bit softer. <laughs> And, but, and then there's actually, if you go back a little bit, 123, is that what it says up there? It moves into something that's slightly more friendly, right? But it still has this underlying feeling of something. So you need to maintain two characters at the same time. And then there's one other thing that I'd just like to mention, because I think it's such an integral part of this movement, are the pauses. Yum! Dudalum, dudalum! Dudalum, dudalum! Like, it should be so scary, that pause. And the, the slightest movement will disturb it, and nobody knows where it's going. It's like this opening, I, 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 I kind of feel a little bit that it should feel so strong, but you're not using all your strength, in a way. So there's the threat of even more power going out. And I think the pauses should be like, 
uncomfortably long, or maybe not long, but just silent or yeah, like vacuumy. Um, we let, but let's continue on. So we can we go from is one seventeen a horrible place to start. Just from the do -do 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 -do. and then it changes into clarity, clarity. Left hand, left hand. Taka, taka, taka. Do -do -do. Left hand, left hand. Crescendo, crescendo. And then only a piano. Only piano. Okay, great. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful, yeah. Yeah, and be careful. You're, you're spending a lot of energy, but I feel that and that's good, but I feel that a lot of energy is just, it, it's, it's, it's wasted, you know, it flows out here and here, and it's like, I, you need to contain the energy. It's here. So, so I mean, spend as much energy as you like, but, but just, once it goes, you know, then, then, uh, then it actually it becomes less powerful, even though you you sort of fight more because it's just disappearing. So rather a little less and and really contained. Hmm? I think that's going to be more powerful. Uh, where were you? There, right. So let's go pianissimo or something. Yeah, pianismo. I'm sorry, but I think we can make that pianismo more scary. This should sound like it or something. It's horrifying. Uh, I think we need clearer changes in the cello, very, very exact. And and like, no like, or something like that. Don't give it away, it should stand still. Directly once more. Once more, once more please. Yeah, once more. Oh, you're changing fingering in the middle of it? Yeah. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should just go first position here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very, very clear left hand. It's like the the uh, door buzzer from hell. Something. <laughs> But then, uh, how do I put this? Never touching the ground. Not like move, a, move a little bit in that scary feeling. Let's let's start completely together. Yes, and and use more bow. Uh, even though it's soft, it doesn't mean you have to use little bow.
small, small detail. Have you just, is, is, there, is there a reason why the, all the, this one is longer and the next one, this one is longer too? Is that a deliberate consideration? Yum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da, dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -da, dum, da -da. I guess I didn't want it to sound too clipped. Okay. Like an eighth note or something, but. Right, but at the moment they're close to a half <laughs> bar. Dum, da -dum, da -dum. And if you think about it in a melody context, yum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, ding, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da I think to me actually what and what you're trying to avoid is that they're sticking out, but they're sticking out. <laughs> but just in the other direction. Just think about it a little bit. Um, from the from what is it, one sixty four? It's a situation where we have we have a crescendo leading up to a piano. <laughs> so, uh, if you're not familiar with musical terms, piano means soft, and crescendo means you know um, uh, growing. Um, so, it's more and more and more and more and more, and then you know, and it's so typical. And to me, it's like uh, almost like the embodiment of of, of the the romantic idea that 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 the desire is more powerful than, than the actual, you know, you, you really want the chocolate, but then when you eat it, it's not as good as the feeling that you had when you wanted it, you know? So the desire is always the, the biggest. So, um, so if you can somehow just make that crazy desire and then, you know, uh, I, I, to me that, makes sense to think in that way. Um, now, technically, um, it's, it's very, very hard to do uh, because along with growing um, uh, in dynamics, volume, you also often want to take some time because otherwise you, it's, it's not a, enough room. Uh, but then when you take time, if you take too much time, then you need to grow even more. And you know, by the end of it, you, you're like this, and you have no more to give. Uh, and, and, and then, you know, the moment is kind of ruined. Um, so the trick, I think, to these places, do crescendo and time taking, if you, if you, if you will, very late. So even though it says crescendo, do it very, very late, almost just the last note. I know it says crescendo from earlier, but 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 really, last note only. Okay, try this place. Now and then. And now, uh, okay, good. I mean, you got the point, you just have to do it all. So, so really crescendo, because I can't hear it at the moment. Yeah. 
yeah. And also... Uh, right until the end, so no... No like this, but... Uh, until the end. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to be really uh, courageous to, to make this work. Yes! And uh, with that, sadly, we're out of time. But thank you very Bravo. much. Bravo.